Can you make profit trading mole parts to Wyson for bird nests? Well, hello there, and welcome to a brand new video. A loot project video on Old School RuneScape. Here you can see yourself 2,500 of both mole skins and mole claws, which you can get mainly from the giant mole, which is located in Falador Park. And I'll give you a little look at the Falador Park in the dungeon areas. That's where you find the giant mole. Across next to the lake is a building which is sitting west of the party Falador room that has the location of Weiss in the garden. You trade him to exchange these mole parts for some bird nests. A variety of bird nests, these nests will be either empty, rings or seed nests. You never get clue scroll nests and you never get egg nests. So just want to make that very clear. So this project cost me in a region of 27.2 million GP. I thought I took the opportunity as as soon as next came out prices sort of dipped a bit so I sort of bought the skins and claws whilst I can. So here you are, you're given three boxes which you can empty with one click of a finger into the bank. So you can see I've got 500 empty nests, 1,250 ring nests and 3,250 seed nests. So here we are finishing off the ring nests and we get all these lovely rings. Actually get more sapphire rings than the gold which is surprising and very very good though because sapphire rings is probably one of the better ones over gold for rings of recall. So let's go ahead and open 3,250 bird seeds nests. So yes, you get a variety of seeds from this place. You don't get necessarily the, um, you know, the tree seeds, the fruit tree seeds. You get more of the high-end stuff as well as you get a mixture of herb seeds and also some allotment seeds. These allotment seeds will be including limpwort root, like limpwort seeds. Uh, this includes sweet corn, um, strawberry seeds, uh, watermelon seeds as well. With the herb seeds, you get lantern dimes, dwarf, candidines, rainars, snapdragons, and torsals. You also get snap grass seeds as well. And of course, you get the acorns all the way through to magics and spirit seeds. So, yes, you also get spirit seeds, which is why I really, really truly suggest on having access to farming guild. You will need 60% favor in Hercidious favor, which is the reason why I had to do this because this is my alt accounts this isn't my iron man because i am not going to spend all that time on getting those giant mole parts and here i rushed getting 42 farming that's the bare minimum you need unless you're doing stew boosting which i really don't suggest i really suggest using the garden pie which will give you a guarantee free plus boost so you can get 42 farming gain access to the farming guild and voila some easy tracks unlocked as well so yeah, we managed to get ourselves nine spirit seeds from the nests. Uh, I think that's a bit below average, but uh, nonetheless, we traded in all nine to get these seed packs, and you can get a variety of seeds. So let's go ahead and open these seeds and see what we can get. These seeds can give you a range of like pretty much any seed on the game really. So here you can, you can see me spam clicking these open very, very quickly. And intensively, but you can see I picked up a couple of Rainar seeds, Torso seeds, as well as some U seeds, and I think maybe a Magic seed potentially. So yeah, it's it's definitely worthwhile, and I probably easily gain myself one million GP from just trading in those Spirit seeds. So here we are. This is us selling everything in our inventory in our um, video we managed to get from those nests. So let's see what we can get, and hopefully we can profit from 27.2 million GP spent on this video. Unfortunately now with the tax as well, this takes away more money that I could have potentially made. If I didn't have the tax, I probably would have made it a, a lot more. Uh, I'm not sure how much a lot more, but you'll find out very shortly. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you really enjoy this video, this kind of video. I thought this would be a great idea as it's something I wanted to do for a long time. And it's, yeah, it's an eye opener and can you make a profit from this place? Like, can you really make a profit exchanging uh, more parts for seeds or seed nests and all that? Well, we'll soon find out. We're already in the green cash stack already from just send 
pretty much the main seeds personally but we still have the nests to sell so we'll soon find out how much we make from this so just literally hit 12 million gp now in the inventory and uh, yeah let's go ahead and see what we can make from this project so here we are we've managed to make ourselves 29.4 million gp from all those bird nests those mole parts so yeah we managed to get ourselves 2.2 million gp from this little project of mine and uh, was it worth it yeah i think it's personally worth it did i think i'll make a profit no i didn't think i'll make a profit so this is a real actual bonus and potentially you could say it's a money making method but it's not really one of those where you make a lot of money per hour because obviously buying the skins and claws took me quite a long time over time uh, the main profit was actually the bird's nest, as you can see, it's like 16.6 .6 million GP from just the nests alone. So as long as you get a good amount of decent seeds, which I did, and averagely you should get quite a good amount of seeds, uh, including like dragon fruit seeds, which are worth quite a lot of money, like 130k each, which is amazing. And I managed to get myself 14 of those. So yeah, it's, it's definitely worth doing this personally. And also with the new seeds added into the game, well, I'd say new, like the Celestrus, the Redwoods and Dragon Fruits, they're still worth quite a reasonable amount. And uh, you do get them, not commonly, but you do get them a little bit more frequently compared to certain other seeds. So yeah, personally, really enjoyed making this video and I really hope you enjoy it as well. And don't forget, Mole Claws, you can get them from other monsters as well. Very rarely though, but I might look into that in the future on this character. These Monsters will be experiment number twos, which I think is to do with Grim Tales, as well as um, Molinisks, which I think is to do with a Slayer creature that no one ever heard of. So this could be potentially more future project videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for those if I do that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you got to this part, please help me and support my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the future. Cheers and goodbye. Bye.